PowerChalk users, this is former CEO and founder Chaz Henry, and I'm going to take about 15 minutes and give you an overview of the PowerChalk system. I say former CEO because if you haven't heard, PowerChalk was acquired by Ion Camera, and the deal was announced at the PGA Show in Orlando. I'll talk about what that means to current and future users, and also if you're new to PowerChalk, I'll give you a high level overview of the entire system. PowerChalk is a cloud-based video analysis and coaching system. What that means in its simplest form is that you can go to PowerChalk.com on your PC or your Mac. You can upload videos you take with your camera or your phone. You can analyze those videos in slow motion, save those new analysis videos into your cloud account, and then you can share all those videos with your colleagues and friends. You can also post those videos to all manner of social media and do that without installing any software. PowerChalk is the only zero footprint video analysis system in the world. I'll take you through that analysis process, but first let, let's go around the circle and let's talk about integrating other elements that make the system more powerful and collaborative. So let's talk about Ion Camera. PowerChalk has always accepted any file, any video file from any camera or phone. That will not change. You can still use your iPhone, your Android, your Sony Handycam, or any digital camcorder to shoot and upload your sports video. With that said, why did we partner with a camera company? Well, throughout the years, one of the most commonly asked questions to PowerChalk has been, what camera should I use? The honest answer has been that none of them are really optimal for doing video analysis. While that didn't change overnight, let me tell you why Ion is the way to go. Pictured here is the Ion Air Pro 3. It can shoot action video at 120 frames per second. That's four times faster than your Sony Handycam. It can also be controlled from your iPhone or Android. And now with our partnership, our next round of app upgrades, you'll be able to pull the camera video straight into the PowerChalk mobile telestrator or push it straight into your cloud locker. While I can't reveal everything that's in the pipeline, I can tell you that no other camera company owns a video analysis system. The reason for bringing our companies together is to build the industry's most integrated analysis solution. With the coming revisions of PowerChalk and Ion, each will become more integrated and more aware of the other platform. So continuing around the circle, I should mention Ion the game. The game is also a Wi-Fi camera that shoots 60 frames per second. It's significant in that unlike other point of view cameras, it has an LCD that lets you see exactly how your video is framed up without using the integrated phone app. With their wide angle field of view, both of these cameras can film a golfer, a hitter, a pitcher, uh, your sports motion from just three or four feet away. So your Sony, your Panasonic, your GoPro, your old flipped camcorder, they're all still supported and we're committed to supporting them in the long term. Simply tether your camera and use the PowerChalk upload form or remove the camera's SD card and upload with your laptop. Again, what you'll see from Ion Camera moving forward is PowerChalk specific integration and features such as high frame rates and integrated uploads straight to your PowerChalk cloud locker. Now let's talk about Apple and Android phones and tablets. I said earlier that you can use PowerChalk with just a net connection and a PC or Mac. You can, but mobile devices bring expanded capability to your cloud account. First, you can use the browser on your mobile device and operate the PowerChalk.com website. Second, you can download the PowerChalk 10 second Telestrator app and you can use it to push device videos straight to your PowerChalk online cloud account. You could literally film your golf swing on the first tee, push it to PowerChalk, and your coach in Arizona could chalk talk your swing and share that analysis back to you before you reach the second tee. And finally, the PowerChalk 10 Second Telestrator app, as its name implies, also has a built-in video analysis telestrator. You can take the device videos and you can scrub them frame by frame right on the device. While the tool palette is smaller and the video segment is limited to 10 seconds of action, you can use the mobile Telestrator to make all the same insights and improvements you can make on the PC and Mac. One future feature that I can share with you is that the PowerChalk app will soon be upgraded to grab video directly from the Ion camera. 
imagine setting up your ion face on to your golf student while you watch with your iPad down the line. Combining what our two apps already do, you could control the ion camera, grab a swing and load it straight into the PowerChalk 10 second Telestrator. From there, you could record your markups and comments and share it back to your student via the PowerChalk cloud. So that takes us around the circle, present and future. With our remaining minutes, let's go to my PowerChalk locker and give you a quick look at managing your videos and selecting one for analysis. So I'm at PowerChalk.com and I'm logged into my account. You'll see your login status and find your account settings and options in the upper right hand corner. If you don't have a PowerChalk account, simply go to PowerChalk.com, go to the home page and use the free sign up button to create one. When you log in, you'll be brought to the video screen. Under the main menu, you'll see that you have multiple folders. Your stream is the public videos of the coaches and players that you are following. My videos are the videos that you've uploaded or videos that you've created using the Telestrator. Favorites are videos that you've tagged as noteworthy. Models are videos that PowerChalk has shot that might be good references for your athletes. Public videos are videos owned by others that were marked publicly available. Shared videos are videos that have been marked unlisted or private but were then shared to you by their owner. So in my locker I have 769 videos. I've actually created many more but what I do as a little league coach is regularly transfer ownership of these clips to my players and parents. I can arrange them by different sorts but I can also filter them by keywords. I'll type Cole Henry, my youngest son, into the search box and the system uses those keywords across the title, text, and tags of all my videos to reduce my list to 33 videos. You'll notice that most of these clips are short. They're 5, 10, or 20 seconds of footage where we've captured Cole hitting, pitching, kicking, or here working out with Coach Bill Renner. You'll also note that this video has the designation Chalk Talk above it. Its runtime is 2 minutes and 42 seconds. This video is a saved analysis session where I took a hit from his game and did a Chalk Talk analysis of Cole's swing and saved that session back to my locker. For any of these videos I can hover the thumbnail and I can click either the play button or the actions menu button. I don't see the video that I'm looking for, so let me add the word golf to my search filter and reduce the list even further. Now, with the list down to one, I can simply hover, click the menu button, and choose Chalk Talk Analyze. You'll note that I have the option via the right mouse to load it into a new tab. Still within the browser, the system loads Cole's video into the Chalk Talk Telestrator. In fairness to Cole, this is one of his first golf swings he's ever taken. But it was also a great way to illustrate to him visually the difference in a golf and a baseball swing. With the video loaded, I can see its details. 179 frames, and I can drag the playhead to any point in the video. I can roll my mouse wheel, or I can click the plus and minus buttons to go frame by frame. I can also name any one of these frames and create what we call keyframes. You can see that I've previously done that and that these 11 positions are saved with the video. With the keyframe set, I can quickly jump to any of those named positions just by clicking on that index. The other advantage of keyframes is that if I load a B video for comparison, I can keyframe it as well and I can use those keyframes to synchronize the videos even if they were shot at different frame rates. To demonstrate that, let me load a B video. So I'll go to the public folder and I'll search for BADD. And up comes the golf swing of PGA Pro Aaron Badley. Now when I load it, you'll see that it too has been keyframed. As I said before, you'll find model videos in the PowerChalk Models folder, but you'll also find hundreds of pro motions in the public folders. So despite the fact that Cole was shot with an ion camera at 60 frames per second and Badly was shot at only 30, I can lock them together 
and I can jump them both to any point in the swing. Here I'll jump them to address. What I want to show to Cole is that while golfers have a distinct weight shift, they do it without the linear movement that baseball players have. So let me use my box tool and I'll frame the head of each golfer. I'll also use my line tool and I'll make a reference line on each man's front side. With my references in place, let's jump them each to keyframe two, which is club parallel. You'll note that Cole is already completely out of his box. He's doing his best Bryce Harper impression and he's getting loaded on that backside. You'll also note that when Cole gets to the top, he's in a baseball position. He hasn't hinged his wrists like Mr. Badley. So again, for Cole, this represents a teachable moment and a good visual. I should point out that there are three ways to use the Chalk Talk Telestrator. First, I could be sitting with Cole and we could be making these observations and adjustments together. I could also have made these observations by myself at midnight while scrubbing video. In that case, I'd simply hit the record button and I'd capture all of my insights and all of my markups and voice commentary into a new file. That's what we saw back in my locker that was labeled as a Chalk Talk. Finally, I could get online and I could share my screen with Cole if he were in another location. We call this PowerCast and I simply broadcast my screen while Cole would select Watch on his end. You can see on the palette that I have many tools to make my points as I analyze Cole's video. I can switch to single screen mode and there I can easily measure Cole's height. When I measure his stance, you'll see that it gives me a ratio to the last thing that I measured. So in this case, I can show Cole that his stance is 35% of his height. With that said, Power Chalk doesn't promote any absolutes or any swing philosophy. We simply give you the tools to convey yours as you compare to your model mechanics. Looking at other tools, I can also trace the club head through space and I can show Cole an ideal path for a long and fluid swing. Remember, at any point I can capture my insights to a new video and save that analysis back to my locker. I can share, transfer ownership, or socialize any of the videos in my locker through the click of a button. So I hope this has been useful. You can see that the PowerChalk site and the Chalk Talk Telestrator have many more buttons, menus, and features. There's a full lesson system where students can find and submit videos for analysis. And there's also the ability to set up a page for your students or team to follow and collaborate. The best way to master the system is to grab an account and start to analyze and share. Let us know how we can help.